Max Kreider is suing his ex-girlfriend, Leslie Matilla, for a series of unpaid loans. Mr. Kreider, it is your claim that the defendant, who was a girlfriend of yours for a relatively short period of time, owes you for a series of loans. That's correct, Your Honor. The defendant says that you did, in fact, give her some money, but they were all gifts. There was never any expectation of repayment. So tell me when you and Ms. Matula Matilla met. We met in February of 2017 on an online dating site. When did you meet in person? It was February 20th. 2017. And when was the first loan that you allegedly made to her? July 5th of 2017. Tell me about that. She had just recently lost her job that she had at that time, I believe. You weren't it. living together. That's correct. We weren't living together. So she lost her job on July 1st, 2017. And then on the 5th, she came to me wondering if she, I would give her a loan so she could go to bartending school. Well, tell me what she said to you. She, when you say she came to you, she came to your residence, she came to your place of employment, you spoke to her on the phone. I want to know exactly where you were and what the conversation was. We were at her house and she came to me. She said that she was just wondering if I could lend her the money so she could get a job, and she seemed to think that was a good idea at the time for as a way for her to make no. money. I don't want to know what you think she thought. I want to know, sir, head up, mm -hmm. look at me. She now has lost her job. That's correct. The two of you are dating. You're at her house, and this was on a weekend. I don't remember the exact day of the week, but... Okay, but it was in the afternoon. Do you work? I actually didn't have a job at that time. And she had no job. That's correct. So you were both hanging out with no job. <laughs> How were you supporting yourself? I had money saved up at the time. What kind of work had you been doing? I worked at UPS for about six years. And now I want to get back to when she lost her job and you were at her house and what she said to you about what she wanted to do. She asked if I could lend her the money so she could go to bartending school. That's what she said. And what did you say to her? When you have the money, pay me back. And what did she say to you? That she would do that. Well, then tell me when you had a conversation with her about when she was going to pay you back after you broke up. Uh, the day we broke up, it was September 11th, actually, and we had a verbal agreement that she would... No, that's a, that's a conclusion. Where were you? We're in the parking lot of a Culver's. In whose car? It was my car. And who was breaking up with whom? She broke up with me. She said, I think it's best we not see each other anymore. And what did you say? I was confused at the time, but I eventually okay. agreed to it. Okay. Now, tell me about the conversation about the money. Well, actually, the day before we broke up, she had me pay for a 5K race. I don't care about the 5K race. I don't care any, about any of the 5K races. I don't care. That's also part of what she owes me. Well, that's what you think she owes you. I don't care about the 5K races. Now you're in the parking lot. She's breaking up with you. Mm -hmm. And you tell me that you had a conversation about this money. I want to know what the conversation was. I asked when she'd be able to be in paying me back. And she told me that at the beginning of 2018, when she was able to save up some money, because she started her job uh, at, at the end of October. At the beginning of 2018, when she started saving up some money. Yep. Now, do you remember that conversation? Breaking up, yes. Did you have a conversation about money? No. That's not correct, Your Honor. Did you see the way she didn't interject? Okay. Did you ever have a conversation about money no. with him? Did he pay for your bartending school? Yes. And tell me about that, how that came about. It was the summertime. We were sitting on my deck and talking about how I had just lost my job. And I was in the process of finding a serving job and a daycare job, which both hired me. And then he mentioned something about bartending, because I had talked about it earlier with serving, because I know you make more money bartending. And he offered up to pay for it. Now, tell me what he said. Offer is... Tell me what he said to you. I was like, oh my gosh, this is a lot of money. It was like 300 something dollars. And he's like, well, I can pay for that. 